everybody, welcome back. You are watching me, Mira, on Skillopedia. Now guys, this is a place where you get to learn new skills for the real world. Well, today's topic was inspired by a friend of mine. So early this morning, I will tell you what happened. I sent her a text mes message saying, Hi, how are you? How is everything at work? Let's catch up soon. To which she replied, Hi, Mira. In today's competitive business world, being smart is not enough. I must have the skills to make others agree with me. There is so much to tell you, Mira. Let's catch up soon. Now, guys, I completely agree with her. And I thought, why shall I not talk about this with you guys today? And that is exactly what we're going to talk about. Being an eloquent speaker in the business world will definitely make you win your listeners' minds and hearts both. And that is what you should aim to be and you should aim to do. Now you will ask me, um, what is exactly, what is that I should do to be more eloquent? Well, you require to work on your speaking skills. Let me tell you how you can conquer these skills. Excited? So am I. Let us get this ball rolling guys. Well, one thing, Keep watching this video until the end as I will make sure to share a few habits with you that can make you sound smarter. And I bet you, the more you watch this video, the more you will solve this problem and become better. Yeah? Well, at times, what happens is that there is a sort of a leakage in your communication and we must fix that. Why does that happen? Why is there a leakage? Because your message is incomplete and people can't absorb the information. That means people don't understand you properly. There's a big question mark. Maybe because of the words you used, possible, phrases, or just, just very complicated, entangled sentences. Or maybe because you're using the same words that you learned or the terms that you have learned with everyone. Is there a possibility? There's a very common saying, guys, one size doesn't fit all. That means you must check your audience before you use certain phrases. Now, guys, wherever you learn or whenever you learn a new word, a phrase, don't just, just start using it everywhere. Keep the advanced words like eloquence, for instance, right? We just learned it. Or even your corporate jargons like the market is booming. Just keep these for your workplace, for the right people. I mean, just think about it. You wouldn't use words like dude or whatever in your office, right? Similarly, you cannot use advanced phrases with your friends or probably young ones or really, really elder ones, right? I know, I know, I know, being professionally sound with correct business English is not just a piece of cake. So, for better English and better business eloquence, better speech, use catchy yet common phrases, jargons, terms and words. Yeah? You should be able to impress someone and make them understand. Now, that's what we need to do. So guys, I usually use Lingoda as it really helps me fix my problems at workplace. So guys, this video has been sponsored by Lingoda. Now Lingoda is an online learning website with native speakers, teachers available for you 24 seven. Adding Lingoda or going to Lingoda, you would get personalized lesson plans and that will help you learn more effectively. I have personally tried a couple of their classes and the teachers are extremely qualified, extremely well-spoken. The classes are, they're, they're quite flexible and you can plan them well in advance just based on your schedule, right? That works, that's fair enough. Now, when you take a class at Lingoda, the courses are packaged with theory of learning material that come with it, covering your grammar vocabulary and your exercises which you would be doing as a part of your homework. Well guys, the latest addition to Lingoda is their business English course that would certainly help you improve your communication. 
I'm going to talk more about it and more in detail towards the end. But if you want to check it right now, the time code is mentioned right below. You can scroll up and check it out right now. If you want to visit their website, the link for Lingoda is also mentioned in the description. You can check it out right now as well. Now the question is, what happens when you learn all the right words, but your speech ruins it for you? Oops. I can actually tell you the most common errors that we end up making, yeah, that you can actually change for yourselves. Now there is one thing. We always have this one thing in our mind when we are speaking. Are they paying attention to what I'm saying? Good question, guys, because most of the times, people are not. The key to keeping someone's attention going is to change the speed of your speech according to emotions. In the whole speech, keeping melody alive is the key. Why all this singing is what you're thinking about right now, probably? So that it's because I need to grab your attention and you need to grab their attention. And this makes you look smarter and convincing enough. If you need for people to pay attention and respect your information, particularly when in today's day and age, we don't even have the patience to watch an ad for five seconds, right? We just skip it, okay? Now I'm talking about dramatizing the situation, right? Emphasizing the right words like the way I just did, phrases and topics as well. Now. Let's check this out. The door is kept open. The door is kept open? The door is kept open. The door is kept open? See how stresses, emphasis, intonation made you understand if I'm asking you, if I'm telling you, or am I in a shock? Or am I just, it's a just plain simple question. You need to do that as well. Now there is one more thing, pauses. Like these generate curiosity and create suspense, which can be, which can be used as a great tool uh, for the audience. And they listen even more curiously. I know you guys will love this one and you would completely rock this trick if you actually practice this. Just be a little dramatic with a friend, practice out with them and try it out and see how it goes for you, right? Now let's check the other problem out. The question is, how loud is loud enough, my friends? I know it's a little poetic, it's a little tricky. Now imagine the situation where you have to talk or address an audience at work or for work, yeah? Now you must take care that you do not get in people's hair, irritate people sitting in front of you by being extra loud. But the person farthest should be able to hear you loud and clear. See what happened? Either I'm too loud or I'm too low. Now you would say I can't listen to you or oh my god this is too loud. So guys it's a simple trick. You must find the correct volume simply by asking am i clear can the last row hear me clearly yeah. is it fine for the row in the front once you get thumbs up you are good to go now this way you have their attention you have spoken to them right remember to make people listen to you you must have a certain amount of authority in your tone of voice please do not yell do not embarrass yourself. <laughs> just increase the buzz. Instead of being really nasal, just increase the buzz. You would sound authoritative that way, right? Like I promised you guys, these basic points will make people believe in you as a speaker and who knows what he or she is saying. This might land you a great opportunity and that's what we're aiming for. Well. Fabulous guys, all these points go hand in hand for making others believe in you as a professional. Do apply all these points in your speech and make it more effective. 
Now, like I said, I was going to tell you a little bit more about Lingoda. The reason why I want you to try it out is because the new business English course comes with 90 online group classes, which could be taken over a period of six months with a one-off payment of $1,159 or 999 euros. It may sound a little expensive here, but if you see, it just costs you about 11 euros or 12.8 dollars per session per class, per group class, right? Well, what you could do is you could sign up for a trial class which lasts for an hour with a native speaker, but paying just a small deposit which is refundable back if you attend the class. Right now, I really believe that the price is worth as you're you're learning from quality, quality and qualified native English teachers. As you are a Let's Talk subscriber, you would be getting a fifty dollar discount on your first payment. Right? Don't forget to check the link and the voucher code mentioned in the description box below. So, guys, do give it a try and let me know what you think about it in the comments. I trust you must have learned something new today. I will be back with a new topic very soon. Until then, take care, spread love. This is me, Mira, signing off for the day, guys. Bye.